In this video, I'm going to give you two payment methods that I believe are superior in the service business and I'm going to tell you why I dislike other subpar payment methods. In the service business, I've had customers not pay me, try to scam me, and give me monopoly money. Watch till the end of this video because I wish somebody would have told me this information when I was starting out. The payment method that I think we should start with is absolutely the easiest to use. But first, you guys have been asking me how I keep track of my business. Listen, I use one app, Court IQ. Court IQ is giving away this Ford work truck in a few weeks to a premium or platinum subscriber of Court IQ. So if you need help keeping up with customers, sending estimates, invoices or collecting payments give quite a try for free just click the link in the comment section in the description of this video quite is the fastest way to send estimates invoices and secure payments from your customers and even provide you with real-time business analytics such as close ratio sales and expense tracking venmo i've been using venmo since the very start of my business journey i believe it's the easiest one to use because of a couple reasons firstly you get a username that you can just share with the customer super simple super easy or they can just look you up through your name if you want to give them your first and last name then as even added security, they have to give the last four digits of your phone number in order to confirm that it's you. This all just guarantees that you get your payment and you guarantee that nobody else gets it. This also keeps you from having to make multiple bank trips a week because cash can overload you and you can just transfer the funds immediately. And to make it even simpler, Venmo gives you the option to request it from somebody's username. So if you just want to ask the customer for their username after the job or before the job, you can have them send the money over after you request it. And this app is extremely industry diverse. I've been able to do it with my mobile snowball stand, lawn care business, landscaping business, trash can cleaning, and even when I clean cars. The main seller for me and also other business owners should think about this is that it's so hard to scam somebody on Venmo. Most people even believe that it would be so easy to handle somebody not paying you, but listen, it's not a situation that you want to go through. And somebody might even say, well, I have their address. I'm going to go ahead and attack them. No, you're not. Another really solid option is to take cash. This is really a super common currency and everybody has it, but there's a lot of downsides to it. Firstly, you're going to have to wait till the customer is ready to give you the money. Even after you tell them that you're done, I've had customers sit there watching me and looking around to see what else I could do before they give me the cash. Additionally, everything becomes your responsibility as far as keeping track of the cash and it, trust me, it's very easy to misplace. Doing multiple jobs in a day can start adding up very quickly and you guys might be like, Matt, how could you lose money? Trust me, it happens very easily. Whenever five different people are paying you cash, it kind of gets a little mixed up. But that being said, of course, there's tons of benefits to it. Everybody's going to have cash. It's super easy to acquire and you kind of tailor to the older crowd a little bit. That's more so a tough spot when it comes to Venmo because people above a certain age don't really know what I'm talking about and they don't even have the app installed. Some older people even try to download the app after we have the conversation about Venmo, but it's almost easier just to go straight to cash. You might be asking yourself, Matt, how do I go about asking the customer for money? It's simple. Let me explain. When I'm talking to a customer, the first interaction over the messages is because they want my service, right? So I have to sell them the service and include all the services that I have, therefore quoting them the price. Then skip to the day of the job. I always ask them how they're going to do the payment. Always ask them before the job. For example, hey, Miss Jamie, how are you going to be paying Venmo or cash? Do you see what I did there? You need to be specific about which payment process you prefer. Let me give you another example. Hey, Miss Jamie, how are you going to pay today? You see how that could go wrong? She could respond with any payment type that she chooses. It could be Zelle, Cash App, anything, and you might not like that. Now, these are just my personal preferences, and you can take any kind of payments you want if you don't care. I have tons of my own personal reasons and personal experience why I don't use a lot of the other payment methods, such as Zelle. You have to give out your email on Zelle, and I've seen people get hacked that way, so I don't want to go through that. In this kind of business structure, the service business, you're in a spot where you have to give out your personal information to new people that you're meeting every single day or weekly, depends on how much the volume of your jobs are, but you could be giving out too much information and that could be dangerous. And it's super easy for somebody to be in the comments and say, Matt, why would you even be scared? What does it matter if they get your email? You don't understand what some of these people out here could do. People are crazy. You never know. I even have a business Venmo. I don't even use my personal one just for my own safety. Like I said, these are just simple suggestions. As somebody who has owned multiple businesses, there's problems that are going to come up and the more that you can get rid of them, the better. You'd probably think, wow, this is super simple, right? I wouldn't have that many problems. Wrong. Business is business no matter what kind of business it is, and different things are going to present themselves at every single job. What I aim to do is minimize every one of these mistakes that I've personally made and give you guys my experience so that you don't have to make them as well. Of course, you can make your own decisions. You can click off this video even if you wanted to, but it's 2023 and you have the internet, so you might as well use it. That being said, there's one payment method that I had to mention at the end that I absolutely hate, and that's...